Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is another A leveled tricky question. Uh, this one comes from an Edexcel paper, and if you do find it useful, please do like the video and also please do subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Okay, uh, let's get into it. Right, so make sure you do give this question a try. It does test um, some understanding of, um, of calculus and, and what it means to integrate and find areas. Okay, part A says um, show that the area R1 is 20 over 3. Um, we know this is the curve it's given to us here. So we know its roots when it equals 0 are um, 0, minus 2 and 4. So this must be minus 2, this must be 0 of course, and this one here must be, um, sorry, this one here must be 4 where it crosses the x-axis. So R1 is between minus 2 and 0, so that means I'm going to be integrating between minus 2 and 0. We always put the um, um, the, the number uh, which is greater along the x-axis at the top. Uh, so 0 is bigger than minus 2, so we put that one at the top. And we're going to integrate this function here, which when expanded um, will be x cubed and we will get a minus 2x squared and we will get a um, minus 8x when we expand that bracket or those brackets great okay um, then we integrate that of course so we up the power and then divide by the new power uh, up the power to 3 and then divide by the new power up the power to 2, divide by the new power gives us 4 and we're subbing in 0 and minus 2. Okay, when we sub in 0, well all of these terms have got an x in, so that's just going to give us 0. And then we take away the second bracket as always and then we sub in minus 2 in here. So minus 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Uh, minus 2 to the power of 3 is minus 8. There's a minus there, so that will turn it to positive 8. Times it by 2 gives me um, 16. And then put that over 3. And then minus 2 squared is 4. Times by minus 4 is minus 16. Okay, and this will equal, um, you're given 20 over 3. Perfect. Okay, that's part A done. And then let's move on to part B. Okay, part B is a bit tricky because, um, well, eventually we're going to have to use the, the actual um, answer to uh, to arrive at the answer they want us to, which is never really recommended, but I've checked the mark scheme and it's okay for this. Anyhow, um, we've got B and we need to... Um, we need to find this value B here for which the area of R2 and R1 are the same. So if we were to integrate between um, B and 0, the same function as before, because it's the same curve of course, okay, this will give us um, the same area but because it's under the curve the value of the integral will be negative so it'll be equal to minus 20 over 3. Okay so integrating is going to give me again and we've already done this so it's x over 4 over 4 minus 2 over 3 x cubed minus 4x squared And that's equal to minus 20 over 3, and that is between b and 0. So subbing in b is just going to give me b to the 4 over 4 minus 2x, oh sorry, 2 over 3, b cubed minus 4b squared. And then sub in 0 is going to give me 0, and that's equal to minus 20 over 3. And then we can multiply um, 3 by 12, which will give me uh, 3b to the 4 minus 8b cubed um, minus 48b squared. And then add that over, times it through by 
3 and then by 4, so I get plus 80 equals 0. Okay, and then this is why I find it a bit bit tricky, is that you have to uh, multiply this out and show that it's the same as this, which in essence is showing that it satisfies um, this equation. Uh, but it feels like a little bit of a cheat. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. So multiplying out that one will give me b squared plus 4b plus 4. And then I'll need to multiply it through by this quadratic. Uh, this is going to give me nine terms, uh, so times the b squared first will give me uh, 3 uh, b squared to the 4 minus 20 b cubed and then plus 20 b squared. And then times the 4 b's will give me plus 12 b cubed minus 80 um, b squared and then plus 80 b and then multiplying the 4 is going to give me 12 b squared and then minus 80 b and then plus 80 is equal to 0 and then we'll need to um, collect up the like terms so we've got a um, b to the 4 perfect we have cubes we've got minus 20 plus 12, which is a total of uh, minus 8, which is great. So we've got 3b to the 4 minus 8b cubed. And then let's look at the um, squares. We've got plus 20 minus 80 is minus 60, plus 12 is minus 48. Great. And then finally, or not finally, but the b's are going to cancel to get 0 and then the, the plus 80 at the end. Great, and now this is exactly the same as our uh, equation which we found by doing the integration so therefore we can say that yes we have verified it to work. Um, now say you, you weren't given this and you were asked to solve this um, a little trick which you might be able to do is the reason why I've kept this part A at the top here is this actually tells us that um, b plus 2 is a factor, as it shows here. And that's because I can rearrange this integral by flipping, the, um, flipping these over. And when you flip the limits, all it does is turn the actual value negative. Because rather than doing 0 take away minus 2, you're doing minus 2 take away 0. So that, in essence, tells me that b has a solution equal to minus 2 because when um, the minus 2 is on top and the 0 is on the bottom it's exactly the same as this one so b could equal minus 2 which means b plus 2 in brackets is a factor so you could divide through by that and that might help out okay on to part c and let me grab some more space okay part c and it's asking us to um, explain with the aid of a diagram the significance of this root 5.442 when that when they've already told us that the value of um, the, the the root here B is uh, 1.225 okay so let's draw the graph and let's just draw the uh, positive part so it comes in there and then it goes like off up here like that and we have here that this region in here is um, 20 over 3 but the value of it when we integrate is negative because it's below the axis and then we need to find another root where all of the area is going to give me negative 20 over 3 and we're told that it's here at about 5.42 uh, 5.4 uh, 4, 2. And we know that this is here 4. So if I were to integrate between um, 5.442 and 0, the function, I would get minus uh, 20 over 3. 
Okay, so let's call this area here, the green area R3, that's below the axis. And then let's call this area here R4, that's above the axis. Now when we do this integral, we will be including both parts, obviously, because it's from zero all the way up to the end of R4. And R4 will have a positive value. Whoops, let's say R4 will be positive because whenever we integrate above the axis, we get positive values. But R3 will be negative because whenever we integrate below the axis, we will get a negative value. And we'll have to add those two together and we'll get an answer of minus 20 over 3, which means that R3 is bigger than R4 by a difference of 20 over 3. Okay, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do like the video and please subscribe to my channel for more A-level content and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.